Um, this is really for the other side of the channel. Um, long story short, with the snag of what happened with the port and different things, both channels are actually kind of suffering right now. Long story short, uh, the port as well as the stuff I was using got damaged. And the end result is I don't have access to all my normal stuff. So everything's slightly off and different. Uh, I, I'm, I can still make an attempt, but I'm not sure it's going to turn up the same. But what I was going to do is uh, the Birdman's review of CinemaSins' review of Harry Potter. And I was going to start it maybe it's because we're coming around to October, but that was going to be the review. Now, the reason why I don't do this as a channel review is because I do understand that technology aside, some of my syncing sucks. And, I, and I've kind of tested that. Some of my sync up technology sucks. Also, I don't want to really uh, reveal my face because that's not part of my brand. And, you know, when it comes to a lot of reactions, they're like, oh, you know my identity, you know who I am. And, you know, there are people who laugh or they say whatever, but then when some of these people get swatted, it's a different story altogether. There are people getting, getting swatted. There are people who, <laughs> uh, they have their homes and personal lives invaded. And, you know, I, I'm introducing myself as a different character for a reason. And it's not so much I'm afraid of what I'm saying, it's just that there are people who, uh, if they're against you, they can hide behind a bunch of ones and zeros, but they can attack you versus, uh, via you speaking out and talking about it. And truth be told, it's, it's not like I'm looking for money for this, for real, for real. Like, I'm not even monetized when it comes to both of the channels. With both the channels, I'm not monetized. I'm doing it. It's, I'm really still into year one. And even though this channel has existed, uh, before I did shift uh, what I was doing. Because at first I was making AMVs, you know what I'm talking about, back in high school. That's when I made this channel. But this year I've tried to convert this to a gaming channel and a more laxed channel. And I just wanted to offer that variety uh, as kind of as a social experiment to myself. I I'm weird like that, but also as um, but also as just another kind of stream or th or something. Because again, not monetized. And from what I can tell, since everyone's making a channel, it's not like something like this is going to get monetized soon. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not supposed to put in the work. No, when it comes to this channel. I'm going to put in the work, and I'm going to try to do it as good as possible. But the reason why I see myself going more gaming than reaction is mainly because uh, not just the face thing, but I don't know. I can try. I can try, but I've noticed that because, you know, I watch YouTube too. I've kind of noticed that when it comes to a lot of these channels and different things, that they have a tendency to do better when people can see their face and expressions. Um, and, and there are older channels, but a lot of those older channels, you know, they got started at different times or different things. And realistically, they got started before a lot of rules were enacted. Some channels get shut down. And um, realistically, when it comes to the grace of YouTube and online and, and stuff like that, uh, I'm not putting my all into this, possibly also because YouTube has shown it, favored, it favors the advertisers more than it favors the content creators. And what that is kind of showing is the content creators are just really a placeholder for uh, things. And now that they have a way to make real money, they don't care. Look, the platform's free, but they shift around there willing to throw people off. And I've, ho I've heard people say different things, but... It's, I've heard different perspectives. I've heard perspectives where people are like, oh, you just adapt. Well, you can't adapt if they're going to hold you accountable for something you said in the past. That's not adapting. That's them changing up the rules or moving the goalpost and shaking off people who could, they, they might have to potentially pay. Because the thing is, while they do uh, remove some, <laughs> uh, some people off the payroll or they remove some views, the bigger issue is that they still used your videos and what you had to build up and get to a certain point. They're always going to be doing that. But the thing is, like, I'm keeping real, I'm keeping honest, this isn't the platform for freedom that it used to be anymore. 
and I easily see it being upstaged eventually. Now, something else I want to hark to is Twitch made a dumb decision to be greedy. And, you know, that's what happens with a lot of companies, especially in America. They have a tendency to be for the people, by the people, and then they just switch off. So I know it's not just YouTube, but what seems to happen is when it comes to a lot of these online platforms and things of that nature, they care more about money, making money, different things. But what's scary is they announced uh, switching to the 7030 uh is 70 30 where you get paid 30 percent and they get 70 percent they made that switch after a few of their top people switched to only fans so what that means is twitch knows for a fact that now we have confirmed awareness that for the longest time they were functioning off of uh alcohol bar rules or club rules or bar rules you see it, there's there's not Basically, they hope that the women attract the men, the men paid and they stayed, but they subverted in a way. Or they, or they turn or chin, just like how there are people who know that shady things are going on, but they turn the other cheek because it makes money. Or they, they turn away from it. Well, now that they've kind of switched over, they made it apparent that's what they are. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of online things, you know? So even when it comes to gaming, I know that as a man and just doing gaming and stuff like that, I mean, I get the views. And that's not me saying, oh, if, if I don't get the views, if I don't get the views, it's, it's women's fault, it's the system's fault. No, I'm, I'm being aware and accountable that when it comes to men who sit down <laughs> and they're, they're lax and just doing certain things, they want to take their minds off of certain things. And they're going to use uh, women in a lot of cases. And that's why these women get the attention that they do. Aside from some of the men just looking out, checking out and stuff like that. But all that to say that because of the decisions that I'm making and a compromise I'm coming to with social media, I understand that things are going to be slightly different uh, as well as with what's going on. So compromise was I'm looking to, in October... I'm looking in October to get a PlayStation 5. Uh, I'm going to see about it. or uh, And then I'm going to play the Dark Souls. Now, something I want to say and make clear is that in the past, I have played Bloodborne. But I've just played Bloodborne. I haven't even played the DLC. Um, I haven't played any of the other games. And have I watched the uh, body videos on it? Yeah, everyone has, for real, who's even played one of the Souls games. That's why he's gotten so much exposure. But aside from that, I don't know much about the games, different things. And if everything works out in October, I'm going to get the gaming channel straight. Um, so, yeah, the next thing is, since I'm not reaction heavy, and, and, and you notice it, it's, it's different when you create content. Like most content creators, they don't have to show their face, but people who do reactions, they kind of have to. So it's a key difference between reviews and reactions. But, you know, a review is not going to get the same energy as a reaction because people want to see other people react like them to it. <clears throat> and I've come to realize that because um, ultimately, just like OnlyFans, just like social media, just like all of it, uh, there are a lot of introverted people who, um, when they're socializing, they feel like they're stepping on glass. So social media has become a window for a lot of people who are introverted or don't have social skills or just don't want to deal with people to kind of uh, deal with people. <laughs> but another thing that's important to keep in mind is it's not real. There are plenty of people who get on here with a persona. Like, even though this is real me, I'm identifying as a separate persona uh, for accountability reasons as well as a few other things. There are a few other reasons. I just, I'm running out of time and I wanted to keep this a 10 minute video and somehow it's getting close past 10. But uh, long story short, um, I'm gonna try Wayne versus Birdman. <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. And um, that's all this channel's getting until mid October where I figure out, am I gonna do Elden Ring or not? Because look, getting these PlayStation 5s is crazy. I'm over the limit. This has been Oliver Flooner Do.